With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. We are only about two and a half weeks away from the AA Legion Baseball State Tournament. The Dickinson Rough Riders have a good chance to pull even in the statewide standings. Today they are hosting Grand Forks. That's where we go. Game two. After losing the first one via walk-off, the Royals came out in game two and really played well. As Braden Brevik lifting one into shallow center, bringing in Gabe Tandy. And then it's with a three-run lead in the first. It's Matt Gaufnauer. And with a, a hard grounder that makes its way out into the left field, Matt Dosh would round and he would score sliding on his belly as the Royals extended that lead. But the Rough Riders get one back. Jeremiah Jillick gets one past the shortstop, giving Jace Kovash a chance to reach home. But Grand Forks would win this one 23 to 2. But again, the Rough Riders get the split on the day, taking game one 4 to 3. Well, the Mandan Chiefs are back on the diamond tomorrow. And one way to describe the season for the AA Legion team, it's a roller coaster ride. The Chiefs are 6-1 in the statewide standings, but they did sweep Williston in their last conference doubleheader. Mandan's head coach chronicles the season to date. Up and down, you know, we've, we've shown some flashes of being really, playing some really, really good baseball. And then, uh, you know, lately, you know, we've kind of hit the skids a little bit where we just haven't put uh, offensively and defensively two sides of the ball together um, in the same game or same doubleheader. Tomorrow, the 6-7 and seven Chiefs head to Minot for a pair of non-counters. The Chiefs still have to face Dickinson, Bismarck, and West Fargo before the seeding prior to the state tournament in Fargo. Well, for the most part, Legion baseball teams are made up of high school players who play in the who played in the spring. Fast pitch softball has the same thing. It's called Junior Olympics, and their big tournament is in Bismarck this week. 79 teams aging in range from 10 years old up to 18 will be here. Now the 18U and the 16U brackets are the high school players. For fast pitch, it's Minnie McQuaid's. We, we are down here at the Cottonwood uh, softball complex, and we basically take up the whole complex, which is 20 fields. So this is our, this is our Minnie McQuaid's for fast pitch softball down here. We, uh, our games start Friday night at 5. We've got two rounds. Um, Saturday is a huge day. We start at 8 o'clock on, on Saturday, and our last games start at 8 on Saturday night. So there will be a lot of softball down here. The championship games are scheduled for Sunday. Ludahl says the top bracket has some super teams in it. Dickinson and Minot are pretty much the same players who finished first and second in the WDA standings. Plus, the River City Wolfpack is a team to watch. Players from a very good Beulah squad, along with some All-Staters from Bismarck. All right, a lot of games going on. We'll be right back after this.